Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about how you need to cherish your family. You know, recently I had a great opportunity to see my mother and my brother. They came into town and I haven't seen them in a long time. It was so good to hug my mother and it was so good to hug my brother. And I can't lie, there was a time when my brother, my mother, and my grandmother were in the same room. And it felt so good to see all of them at once. Why? Because time moves by faster than you think. When you're waiting for something, time seems to go slow. But you'll look up one day and five years have passed before you know it. And these times are not guaranteed. So I really celebrate those type of moments. But then I got a chance to see my aunts and some of my cousins as well. So it was a great time over the last several days for me to sort of bond with family. You know, and I just want to tell you right now, man, uh, my family doesn't always agree with what are harebrained schemes, <laughs> pretty much, in their eyes, you know. But I will always say this. They still support me. They still love me. And everything they tell me is out of love, you know, whether we agree or disagree. And let me tell you, man. I really cherish the love that they give me. And I know many of you probably don't have the ideal family, you know. But let me tell you, somebody loves you, you know. Somebody in your family cares about you. And you might say, Jay, I don't have a family. You know, nobody out there cares about me. Well, that's not true. Even if you don't have blood relatives, somebody out there loves you. And I go even further. If you don't have family that loves you, well, guess what? I love you. And you might say, well, Jay, you're not here with me right now. Well, guess what? I might not be there with you in the physical world, but I'm here for you spiritually. And I'm going to pray over you that everything is going to work out all right. And remember something. Even if I'm not around, you always have God on your side. You know, when you don't have any family, you have God as your family. So you can rest assured, somebody loves you. Somebody is cheering for you. But for those of you who do have a physical family, I would urge you right now, if you have disagreements going on, and if it's your fault, or you think you made a mistake, go ahead and apologize. It's not worth being mad at people for years and years because you can't get that time back. Now, you can't control whether they forgive you or not, but you can control things on your end. You can make a step to apologize. And if they've done you wrong and they apologize to you, you need to forgive them. Allow them to have the chance to make mistakes. You know, sometimes people make mistakes. But time is too short for you to hold on to the anger and hold on to the disappointments. You know, you want to cherish the love of your family while they're here. You know, cherish their love. Hug them embrace them, you know, enjoy these moments, because like I said, life is just too short, you know, right now, I haven't been having a whole lot of time for my family, because I've been chasing a dream, you know, trying to make things better for my family now, as well as future generations, but even me, sometimes I have to pause for a second and love on my family. You know, hug them when they're here. You know, call them even when I'm busy. You know, so 
Make the time. Cherish your family. Let them love you. And you need to love them, you know. You can't get some of these moments back. So, I want to tell you right now, man. If you're trying to go somewhere in this world, just slow down every now and then and cherish your family. Because when you can do that, that's when God will allow you to become everything you were created to be. Cherish your family. Show them love. And if you don't have a physical family, I love you. And more importantly, God loves you. Remember that. So, with all that said, me and the beautiful Cali Sun are going to read your declaration for the week right about now. I declare you have a sound mind filled with good thoughts, not thoughts of defeat. By faith, you are well able, you are anointed, you are equipped, and you are empowered. Your thoughts are guided by God's word every day. No obstacle can defeat you because your mind is programmed for victory. This is your declaration. We really hope you enjoy this episode of Reset Sundays and we pray you have a blessed and abundant week lying ahead. But with all this said, it's been me, Jada Akin and the beautiful Caddy Sun. We. Oui.